Hi and welcome to this video of learningswedishonline.com. Uh, this video is on the Swedish alphabet and uh, hopefully after going through this video you will know how to pronounce each letter of the Swedish alphabet and uh, how the pronunciation differs from uh, the English way of pronouncing each letter. Um, first I will go through uh, the pronunciation each letter at the, at the time and after that I will go through the uh, long vowels and the short vowels so you will hear the difference between uh, them and the difference between the way that you pronounce it in English and also I will show you some examples of how uh, this is in actual spoken language and when a letter, when a vowel is uh, short and when it is long uh, so this will be not a very long video, but you will get a lot of knowledge, knowledge about the Swedish alphabet. Let's get started. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V X Y Z Å Ä Ö As you probably knew before and as you could see in this uh, presentation um, we have three letters that English doesn't have uh, and these are Ö, ä, and å. Uh, try to remember how they are pronounced and uh, remember also the way that they look. Uh, I think though that å, uh, ä, and ö will not be the hardest letter to learn uh, if you are a fluent English speaker. Uh, what I think will be the hardest is u, uh, uh, because that is generally almost impossible to learn for someone uh, who doesn't have Swedish as, as their mother tongue. Uh, so that is where you will keep your focus if you want to pronounce Swedish exactly the way it should be pronounced. Uh, okay, let's move on to uh, the long vowels and the short vowels. Uh, and the long vowels are pronounced this way. E, I, I, Ä, Ö, A, O, U, Å. And the short vowels are pronounced this way. E, I, I, Ä, Ö, A, O, U, Å. It's a bit hard to only pronounce the actual vowel uh, because yeah, it's a lot more easy if there's an actual word to pronounce. So some examples of how to use this is uh, lila compared to lilla and peter, petter. What you see and what you hear is that uh, in the lila lila example there are two l which makes uh, lila pronounced the way it's pronounced with a short vowel uh, this these words mean uh, totally different things uh, lila uh, means purple and lilla means uh, the small one um, or small and uh, Peter and Petter are uh, two different names. 
so uh, those doesn't differ as much as lila and lila. But uh, still it's the same uh, principle. Uh, there are two T's in Petter, uh, so the consonant is doubled, and when the consonant is doubled, the uh, vowel before the double consonant becomes a short vowel. Uh, try to remember that, and uh, maybe you wonder why I have uh, uh, placed the vowels in the way that I have. Here I start with E, I, I, Ä, Ö, A, O, U, O, instead of A, E, etc. But uh, this is because uh, the vowels are uh, divided between hard vowels and soft vowels. And here I start with the soft vowels, which are E, I, I, Ä, Ö, and then continue with the hard vowels, which are A, O, U, O. Uh, we will go through this uh, some more later on in the course, uh, but you don't need to worry about this right now because it's not that important. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation and uh, uh, go through the exercises and uh, uh, try to do as much as possible and learn as much, much as possible. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Uh, have a nice day.